Mom, please take a sip of tea. You can't cry yet. It's all yeah, the I'm one. gonna cry. <laughs> Mom, will you please take a sip of tea? No, I'm gonna really cry. <laughs> Welcome to family. Thank you. Love you too. Samantha, you look absolutely beautiful today. Come on, family, friends, like, let Samantha know how beautiful she looks today. Joe, you look pretty good too. All right, are we ready? Let's do this. We're gathered here today as, witness to, as witnesses to celebrate the marriage between Joseph Jastrowski and Samantha Eng. Marriage is a celebration between two individuals becoming one in unity. And as Mark 10, 9 states, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together is a success. Your relationship will require more than just love. It will require trust to know that at the end of the day, you guys only want what's best for each other. So I just want to go ahead and just open us up here real quick in just prayer. So if everyone wouldn't mind just bowing your heads and close your eyes. Father God, I just, God, I thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. What a beautiful day it is to, to be married today, Lord God. The sun just coming out perfectly right on time.
And Lord God, we just want to pray right now for Joseph and Samantha, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we just have the opportunity to be able to celebrate with them both here today. And as 1 Corinthians 13, 4 says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And Father, I just want to pray that becomes their anthem in this season of, of, in their season of their life they are in today, Father. I just thank you, Lord God, for just this traveling mercy that you were able to bring everybody here together. And I just pray a special blessing over Samantha and Joe as they just get married at the, today for the, to start just the beginning of their lives together. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember that in every marriage, there are good times and there are bad times. There are joys and there are sorrows. Marriage is a journey. It's a time of adventure and excitement, enhanced by the love, trust, dedication, and faith that you guys share with one another. May the promises you guys make today be lived out until the end of your days. Tomorrow can bring the greatest of joys, but today, is a day that it all begins. Joseph and Samantha, do you, with your friends and family here, as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage? We do. Will you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrow of life, come what may, and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your lives together? We will. All right, well, I believe you both uh, wrote your own personal vows here. So, Joe, why don't you get us started? Samantha, asking you to marry me was the easiest and best decision I've ever had to make. I love everything about you, especially the love you deeply share for your friends and family. Today, I promise to be your partner and sidekick in all of life's adventures, both around the block and around the world. I promise to love and support you in both the good times and in the bad. I will be by your side through all of life's ups and downs. Lastly, I vow to keep you and all of your needs above all else. Right before I met you, I had been earnestly praying to God that he would send me the one that I was meant to be with. I was tired, I was upset, and then a week later I got your first email message and we started talking. And a month later, I told myself that you were someone that I could marry, and all I felt was happy. Joseph, you are the love of my life, and I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you from this day forward. You pushed me to be my best self, and I promise to push you to be your best self too. I'll be there to support you in all of your endeavors and to tackle all of life's challenges with you. I promise to love you and care for you in all the good days and the bad. To be there for you when you can't be there for yourself. I promise to not just listen to you, but to do my best to understand you and to have faith and trust in you, even when I can't understand where you're coming from. I promise to take your hand when we go through times of trouble and to walk next to you in every adventure our life will have. I promise to say I love you just because I do and to cherish you because I know that God meant for us to be together. Joseph, you are the love of my life and my best friend and I love you. Having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by exchanging rings. From the earliest of times, the circle has been a sign of completeness. The rings that you have chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like your love for one another. They are a symbol of the words that you speak today. May these rings from this day forward be your most treasured adornment. And may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. 
As you wear these rings, may they be a constant reminder of these glad promises that you guys are making here today. Joseph, take this ring, place it on Samantha's finger, and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Samantha, place this ring on Joseph's finger and repeat this after, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Joseph and Samantha, from this day forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person, giving you a completeness and renewed lightness. May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. May you strive to enrich each other in every possible way. And may you work to bring the peace you find in this world. At this time, we'll just go ahead and start the unity candle ceremony. Having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love, honor, and cherish one another in the presence of their family and friends, and by the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the state of California and the internet, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to be the first to introduce you to, as husband and wife, Joseph and Samantha. I'd like to just uh, say a couple good, my, good fond memories I have with Joe. We'll go back as far as I could almost remember. Every year around Christmas time, I remember going into Joe's room Chris, on Christmas Eve, sleeping on his bedroom floor, uh, just because I was so excited to get up in the next morning and wake him up. Samantha and I haven't lived together for about 12 years, but our endless hours of phone calls, which are often so long that we require bathroom breaks, have brought us closer than we ever were. I am so happy that Samantha has a wonderful per person like Joe to love her and do life with her. Joe has already become a part of our crazy family. While he's not quite as loud or as competitive as the rest of us, he knows his way around a dim sum table and will do whatever is needed to help our family. I wish for you nothing but a marriage filled with love, joy, and continued adventures. Congratulations. Congratulations.